My wife's looking at me. You're doing something that the tool is overworking at. Hi, my love. You want to take two cars over there? I'm going to go over there now. Yeah. It's already 10 after. Yeah, just, you can take my car. And then just take mine, and then when, when you can leave, because I was going to stay a little bit longer anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I'll be done in like 10 minutes. Okay. Sorry, I said 10 minutes when I first started, but I, I'm all, almost out of the test. I right, love you. Hey, you can take my car. I'll take your car. All right. Love take you. Care. Yes, you will. Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the M Milwaukee M18 impact driver. This uh, this uh, this impact driver is supposed to be the best in the market and the model number for this is 2853-20. Uh, this comes in the $400 Home Depot uh, kit that you get two free tools with. You could also buy the bare tool. It is a brushless motor and it is also fuel. We are going to use a uh, 2 amp hour regular battery and a 3 amp hour high output battery with this. And before we do the test, I just wanted to uh, say congratulations to the raffle winner. As I said in previous videos, that I was giving away a raffle around Christmas time, which today is Christmas. So the winner of the raffle for the $50 Home Depot gift card is Papa Roy. I'll put his name right here and I'll be contacting him uh, today. I will uh, put a message on his YouTube uh, community board. And so yes, Papa Roy is the winner of the $50 Home Depot gift card raffle. So congratulations to him on that. And since we are coming into a new year soon, I will be introducing a new type of test to uh, implement with the, all the impacts. What we are going to do is start doing as well as what we've already been doing is we are going to start using bolts and nuts. Now one thing that I have noticed that we haven't really used yet, that I haven't really seen yet on uh, other channels, we've seen on how powerful they are on driving a big lag screws into wood. I really haven't seen how tight these impacts could make a bolt drive into a nut. And we're going to judge, I'm going to, uh, I'll be modifying this test as I go along. But for now, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, I'm going to count the amount of threads that remain on the opposite side of the nut. And that is going to determine the winner of the driver that drives the nut deeper into the wood. And that's that. We are not going to use washers for this test because washers will just create more resistance than what we need. I want this to make this uh, as tight as possible and dent into the wood and we'll count the threads to see who's the winner. We are going to do some 10 inch timber lock screws, we're, we're going to do some lag screws and we're going to test this out to see if this works. And to you help use this test, we are going to use the Tack Life uh, wrenches that I got. Now these things are actually pretty awesome. These these uh, these are extremely hefty. They have a nice chrome finish to them. We're gonna have to get uh, a couple of sized nuts for this test. Unfortunately, we can't do this right now. But the, but this is a nice set. This is a nice wrench set. Take looked at the size and then got the proper size nut, but it's okay. I'll, I'll get that tomorrow. There you go. It, it's a it, ha, it, it it has like a nice carrying case, you know, in itself with a handle. All right, so this is my first time actually using this. I'm excited about using it. So we are actually gonna uh, do we're gonna do our first stress test. Uh, we are gonna put in. Two, uh, two timber lock screws, two 10 inch timber lock screws, uh, and time them individually. Then we're gonna put seven, we're gonna set seven up and do them at once and see how long that takes. And the same thing with taking them out. Then we are gonna do a five inch lag screw. 
Then we are going to do an eight inch lag screw. So we're going to see on how this performs. And I hope it performs uh, as well as the reputation this impact has. All right, we got the Ryobi socket up first. And we're using a regular two amp hour battery. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Very good. All right, let's do one with the three amp hour high output battery. And we're gonna see what the time is between the two amp hour and the three amp hour uh, high output. All right, so ready, Now, oh, this is my first time using it, and I will say, because it's nice to have this uh, extremely compact, but I will say this, the balance, when you're holding it like this, the weight is at the back, and it's pulling my, uh, pulling the impact downward from the back, you know? And so it's a little awkward to hold. I, I will admit it's a little awkward to hold. Let's set this up really quick. Alrighty, we have three of them right here. Who cares if they're, if they're not the same level? This is uh, the log itself is on a t tiny slant. They're in there enough just to stay above and not fall down. Alright, so we're going to do these three in a row and then time it, and then take them out and see what, uh, then do the three amp hour uh, high output. Alright, so ready? Go. I'll take time off that. Very good. All right, let's take them out. Actually, I got one, two, three, four, five. I have six. Six of them in there. All right, let's switch to the high output. Let's do put three in. Up. Oh. All right, we're good. I'm going to take that one out a little bit. There we go. Oh, sorry. I didn't even... Battery is... Ooh. Three bars left. Surprised. All right, so ready? Go. That is time. Okay, we're gonna take them out. We're gonna use a two amp hour. That's that full bar still. Wow, that has more bars than the three amp hour. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. You know, let's put one more in there just just because. Make it an even ten. All right, so we're gonna take out five each. It's five with the two amp hour, five with the three amp hour. All right, so we are good to go. We're gonna do it all at once. I'm gonna go to the next one as fast as possible. Ready, go. The battery is at three bars now. That might go back up after it cools off for a second. Ready, go. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, for this test, I use TechLife impact rated sockets. We got the Milwaukee 
half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. There we go. It is on speed three this entire time, just so you guys know. Five inch lag. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. There we go. Time. Oh, take that out a little bit. There we go. All right, then we're going to use an 8 inch. Is this 8 inch? Yes, this is. 8 inch lag. Uh, right here is good. All right, let's see what this can do with the 8 inch. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow, that's with a 2 amp hour battery with 3 bars left. Not bad at all. All right, so let's take them out. Take out the 5 inch first. Right, so ready, go. All right, eight inches next. Ready, go. Wow, that thing is, this thing is powerful. All right, next we are gonna use the uh, three amp hour high output. Battery has three bars. Ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, now, now, under just so you guys know, the, when the t this starts driving in, to the wood is when the timer starts. Ready, go. All right, when you guys hear that, it means the anvil is skipping. That is no good. That means that this is doing something that it is having a tough time doing. Now let's take it out. Ready, up, let's do the five inch first. Battery is at three bars still, not too bad. Ready, go. Not too shabby. All right, let's do the eight inch. Ready, go. I don't know about you, but this is getting warm. Let's do a temperature meeting, reading on this. Holy cow. 101 degrees. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 103 degrees. Wow. Yes, yeah. So as you can see, what I do on this channel is do hardcore tests. And yeah, this if I keep doing that with this uh, tool with the anvil skipping, this is this is not going to last. The power that I have right now isn't going to last too uh, too much because the uh, it's just bad to have your anvil skip like that. But this thing is powerful, though. This thing is powerful. I like it but for now that concludes the test i was hoping to i was hoping to be able to do this test which we will in the future if you got home depot gift cards uh i'm going to make a video on how to spend them well so i will be making a video on what the best deals are for the gift cards that you got i hope you guys had a very merry christmas and that's pretty much it so this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time and happy holidays